Hello everyone, I am Tanmay Gupta. I secured All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. So, in today's video, I will tell you how to NCRT actually reading. Many people say that you have to read NCRT, but there is a correct method of reading NCRT. And what is that? Let's find out. So, now I'll tell you how to read the NCRT of chemistry. So, in this, I'll go book by book. So, this I have 11th NCRT with me right now. So, NCRT is basically divided into three parts. We have physical chemistry, we have inorganic and we have organic chemistry. So, the method of reading all the three parts is different. Because in some you require more understanding, in some you require more mugging up and in some you require more concept. So, starting with the physical chemistry. So, it's more understanding based, more numerical based. So for that, I would suggest that you should go through NCRT but more in a physics kind of way. Like you go through NCRT once or twice and make notes and then revise the notes only. Like uh, if I point at some chapters, like some basic concepts of chemistry. So these are the very basic questions that uh, are always asked from this chapter about moles and all. So this is a chapter which you can count on as coming from the numericals. So just go through the NCRT once or twice, make good notes and then re revise the theory from the notes only. These are the chapters which are important to practice and to gain more control over the numericals. Like some basic concepts, structure of atom is a more theory based chapter for which you need to go through NCRT. That is important. Classification of elements and periodicity and property again a theory based topic which you need to go through NCRT. Chemical bonding, molecular structure, theory based, you have to go through the NCRT. Thermodynamics, equilibrium, these are the chapters which are more concept based. So you have to segregate the chapters which are concept based, which are numerical based and which are actually theory based. So once you do, do that, things are gonna get simple. So, as I said, like some basic concept of chemistry, take a small notebook, this is what I did, and write the important theory points which are present. Like you can find them highlighted in the text. Whatever you find important, write that in the small notebook so that you don't have to give reading to these less important chapters again and again and you can focus on the more theory based chapter. Uh, another question is that for physical chemistry, what about the NCRT questions which are present in the back? So yes, for NCRT, the, uh, for chemistry, the NCRT questions are actually very important um, because direct questions are seen in the NEET examination and also they are very interesting and very important for concept building also they will help you in your board examination so it's a very good thing if you do the uh, questions plan in back of ncrt the ncrt exercises and the salt questions all these are really important uh, to do from the ncrt uh, so this was the uh, physical chemistry of class 11 now if we talk about the inorganic and organic chemistry, how to study those. So inorganic chemistry, one of the things that I found very difficult. So uh, in inorganic chemistry, what you have to do is just read the NCRT. It's very important that you know everything that is present in the NCRT, but again, you don't need to know anything extra. That's the good thing about inorganic. If you are able to give enough number of revisions, it's done, it's over. So I would suggest to not go for note making in inorganic rather than read NCRT again and again. Here because of some changes I can see the redox chapter and many chapters have been cut uh, from the 11th section. So these updates are gonna be crucial because the chapters which are left are gonna be asked in detail. So it's better if you read those chapters which are left uh, better from the NCRT only. Organic chemistry again, this is the part which is both concept based plus understanding based. So the question arises how much NCRT is important for organic chemistry and to that I would say very. Because seeing the last few years, organic chemistry is being entirely asked from NCRT. So I would suggest that go through each and every point present in the NCRT for organic chemistry. Try to memorize all the orders which are important. Uh, as you will move forward in your 11th and 12th, you will understand which all orders are to be remembered, which all, which all are important and those have to be remembered. 
सो वॉट यू कैन डू फॉर ऑर्डर्स इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज दैट मेक सेपरेट नोटबुक फॉर दोज एंड रिवाइज दोज वेन एवर गेट टाइम फॉर थ्योरी इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू रीड द ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री थ्योरी अगेन एंड अगेन एज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल्सो वेरी वोलाटाइल सो द नंबर ऑफ रीडिंग्स यू गिव फॉर ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज गॉन बेनिफिट यू इन द सेम वे हाइड्रोकार्बन अगेन एन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर विच यू हैव टू रीड फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी एंड इट्स सफिशेंट टू रीड फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी इफ यू नीड टू गो बियॉन्ड इट यू कैन बट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द नीट क्वेश्चन आर गोन कम फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी फॉर ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो दैट वॉज इट फॉर इलेवेंथ नाउ लुकिंग एट द ट्वेल्थ क्लास केमिस्ट्री So again, these here we have the chapters of physical chemistry, which, as I said, that theory is not very important. But again, once or twice you have to read from NCERT because they are gonna ask some uh, statement-based question, and you can get confused during the time of examination. Read once and uh, make notes of these chapters. So like solutions, electrochemistry, uh, chemical kinetics. all these are chapters that have to be revised again and again and for these numericals also have to be performed so reading this chapter followed by numericals is a good way of going through these dnf block is here dnf block again in organic chemistry and the trick for in organic chemistry is just reading the ncert again and again Again, I would suggest that in organic chemistry you directly give a reading from the NCERT rather than making notes, because when I tried making notes for inorganic chemistry, it never worked for me, because I was I would always make uh, some points and then I'll regret that they are not in my notes and I'll doubt my notes. So that's the thing, because every each and every statement is important in inorganic chemistry. It's better to give the reading again and again from NCERT rather than. Uh, making notes and then reading from there coordination compounds again it's a more theory based chapter so you can read this from ncert only and i don't think any other source has to be referred for chemistry inorganic and organic rather than the ncert so this is the 12th chemistry part 2 this is all organic chemistry and this is a very important book because a lot of questions are asked from here the named reactions each and every named reaction you should remember very nicely because they are going to come they are going to come every time in the neat exam and you have to remember that so a good thing again is that this ncert is solely dedicated for organic and you can directly give a reading to these chapters they are written very beautifully and if you know them you can revise them from here only you can uh, solve the in-text question the examples the back questions all this is going to help you for the neat exam and uh, these are sufficient according to me to crack neat for physical chemistry you can go for practice outside ncert as i said some singage uh, singage books mtg books these are good for practice of physical chemistry but as far as inorganic and organic are concerned doing ncert thoroughly is enough so this was it according to me from ncert uh, for chemistry so to sum up the inorganic and organic chemistry are to be solely done from ncert and if you need to go outside just uh, do that for building the concepts not for learning something that is completely out of ncert or not mentioned in ncert for physical chemistry give one or two reads make notes and then practice the questions cause questions are the important things that are going to come from physical chemistry so that was it from my side thank you